All right, hello, and now I'm going to show you how to upload a, a document into the uh, Digme lesson plan repository. So here we are. I've logged, I'm already logged into my Google account, so I have the little Google header up here, which is what you would see too. Um, here's my email address and whatnot. Um, so what I would like to do is I'd like to add a file. So we're going to go here and let me just back up a little bit. So we got here through, I clicked on the upload page on the sidebar, and then now I'm going to connect to the digital neighborhood map. So we click there, and since I'm already logged in, I see this this tool, this little button set right here, and if you weren't logged in, you would not see that. So what we're going to do is add a file. And when you add a file, a blue bar, a blue box will kind of our outline blue box will pop in and if you're going to add a file from your computer you hit browse and then another pop-up box appears and we are going to add the file right here that says powerful teacher education so we're going to add that in there and it gives you the address of it where it's located on your computer then from here um, you add in a file description and in this case I'm going to say I'm going to say that this works with ELA as well as the SST to tell kind of what's going on here. Add as much description as you th feel necessary. It really describes what's going on in this um, in this document. Also, feel free to add other descriptions too, like um, if there's technology that's being used in here, add that as well. The more information you put in here, the better this will be um, for the future iterations of housing this information, of housing these documents so we can sort them later. Um, so feel free to add as much as you can into this area. So then when, you, when you've added all the information that you want to, go here to upload and it will, then you get the little piece there and it gives you um, the file that it is as well as it gives you the description and how big that file is. Also there's versioning here um, and you can see this says version 1 so I can upload this document a couple different times and version it will be version 1, version 2 and so on and so forth. So I could also delete this um, I could select this and then I could delete it if I, f I decided that wasn't the right uh, document I wanted to upload. So now with this um, document uploaded, I can see that this is here in our repository. I went to the ninth grade one, so this is the whole t the whole year um, lesson view that we have, and you can see the category of digital neighborhood map is there, and here's the file, and I can click on that and go if I wanted to. Also, I could go to quarter one and show that the that document is right there, and it's, so it's located in many different places. There's only it's only uploaded once, but you can see it many different ways. And then it also gives you a count at the bottom of the um, the little section that is in for neighborhood map and whatnot on each of the pages. So that's how you upload a document. And then now next we're going to show you how to upload a link.